Hello everybody, this is Robert Harley and this is the Excel Excel Your Life Show. Today we're gonna to continue with our top with our series on the ABCs of success. And we're just gonna get right into it because of time's sake and because I have um yeah, I just wanna get right into it. So um today we're gonna to talk about the ABCs of success. Those of you who've been following this series, you know, I've been going through the alphabet and we've been talking about um, different subject on picking each letter of the alphabet with a, a, a um, assign a word for that letter and then we talk about the word and talk about this, what's the difference between successful people and non-successful people and so today this, this, this the letter we're on is on the letter S and today we just, I just figure I'll keep it simple and I'll just can talk about success <laughs> just talking about the subject of success um, you know, so a lot of people say, some people, and I should, should say a lot of people, some people think that success is a destination, it's something you go, you, you, you work towards, and I mean, you get there, then you have, you have arrived. But on the other hand, some people think, think, and I believe, and I believe this and agree with this, that some people think that success is a journey. Success is a journey. It's not a destination. It's not, it's not something you're striving towards. It's a journey that you're on. And because there's different levels of success and there's different areas of success in your life, you can be successful in one area of your life and a, and a, a non-success, non-successful in another area of your life. You know, so it's 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 a journey it's a journey of personal growth and development it's a journey it's a lifelong journey because personally i don't think anybody have has would ever said they have arrived you know to the to the to the uh to the to the to success you know people will achieve great success in their life at a certain level and certain areas and certain degrees yes but it's it's never ending it, it shouldn't it should never get to a point where you think that you have arrived this is this is it for me this is all the success i'll ever have or ever experience or ever 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 achieve you know you you, you should never get to that point because you should when you get to when you be successful at one level you should be, be aiming to go up to another level because there's always a higher level to go no matter what level you're on no matter how successful you are there's always another level to go there's always higher you can go there's always more you can achieve there's always more you can accomplish there's always more that you can do there's always more you can be there are always more that you can have there's always more that you can become so there's always more so no matter what level success that you're at there's always more that you can achieve that you can accomplish that you can become that you can do that you can have that you can be <laughs> so you never 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 satisfy never settle for where you are no matter how successful or non-successful you may be you know you never never think that you, you have arrived never settle never be satisfied always achieving always growing always developing always striving for greater greater success anyways as usual you know on these uh on this series i've uh, i have some quotes to you I have some quotes that um that I want to read to you concerning success these quotes and these quotes are from different people um and some of them I will quote who's who who they're from some I will not quote because frankly I don't know who they are and so um just gonna go through these quotes real quickly and then we kind of get into the to the subject on and on, on, um success what separates successful people from non-successful people so let's go there's a first quote here there are no secret to success it is the result of preparation hard work and learning from failure i'll read it again because that's, that's a good one there's no secret to success it is the result of preparation hard work and learning from failure this was from colin 
Powell, Colin Colin Powell, Colin Powell is the guy that quote have that said that. Uh, here's another one. As long as you keep going, you'll keep getting better, and as long and as you get better, you gain more confident. That alone is success. This is Tamara Taylor. Tamara Taylor. Failure is the key to success. Each mistake teaches us something. <clears throat> There's no I don't know who said that, so failure is the key to success. Each each mistake teaches us something. Some people some people dream of success while other people get up every morning and make it happen i like that some people dream of success while other people get up every morning and make it happen that's wayne wayne something in another <laughs> some can't pronounce his last name not gonna try to pronounce his last name um success consists of going from failure to failure we don't lose we don't loss of enthusiasm enthusiasm I'll read it again. Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. That's Winston Churchill who said that. Failure is failure is success in progress. Failure is success in progress. That's Albert Einstein who said that. Shall, uh, shadow, no, shallow men believe in luck. Strong men believe in cause and effect. Ralph Waldo Emerson, who said that, find someone to be successful for, raise their hopes, think of their needs. That's from Barack Obama, former president. Barack Obama, I read it again. Find someone to be successful for. Talking about your why. Raise their hopes, think of their needs. That's a good. That's a good way of think of of your why. Why you need to be successful. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. That's by Bruce Lee. Success is never accidental. Success is never accidental. I agree with that 100%. 90% of your plans are going to fail no matter what you do. Get used to it. That Mark Manson. The difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything. That's Warren Buffett who said that. So that's it for the quotes that I have. These are all the quotes that I have for now. There's Again, there's lots more quotes that we could use but we're going to stop there where quotes are concerned now let's talk about success and um what successful is as i said in the, in in my introduction to this subject tonight uh is some people think that success is a destination while other people think it's a it's a journey i personally agree with with it that that, <clears throat> that it is a journey now one thing that success do success leave clues success leave clues i was listening just recently on uh, youtube but those of those of you who watch these videos regularly you know i'm a big youtube fan i listen to youtube videos all the time people listen to motivational speakers like you know jim ron and uh les brown anyway just recently i was just listening to uh, a video by les brown this is not this is the first time i've listened to this particular video but he talked about how, what it takes to be successful. And one of the things he said in, in, the, in, this, in this video, he said, you know, if I follow you, let's say I follow you for one day, just follow you, shadow you, and look at everything you do. I can, I, can deter, I can tell you how successful you're going to be or not going to be. He said, if I follow you, shadow you, just observe everything you do from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night and follow you throughout the whole day and see exactly what you do. I can tell you just how successful you will become or not to become. 
you know, and I was thinking about that because I was thinking, man, if he follow me for a whole day and see what my life is like on a whole day, man, I, I, and I, it's food for thought because you have to think, yeah, if someone will follow me all day to observe me and to see how, how I live my life on a daily basis, would, would they determine that I will be successful based on what I did from the time I wake up in the morning to the time I go to bed at night? Would that would they said, hey Robert, you're doing everything right. You just keep going. You know, you you you're right on the ball. You you're disciplined. You're focused. You're doing everything right. So I can I I watch you for a whole day, and I know if you continue doing what you're doing, you will become successful. Or they might say, Robert, you may you have a lot of work to do <laughs> your life is a shamble you you just just you know you you need to be get, be more disciplined you need to be more focused you need to have you have more you, you need to have more goals that you need to work towards you need to have a system in place you know what would they say i mean even i have to ask that question if someone if someone will follow me for one day to observe how I live my life, will I become successful or non-successful? How successful will I be? And that's a food for thought for all of us. I mean, you, you examine your own life. Examine your own life. I'm examining my own life. You examine my, your own life based on that statement. If someone will follow you, shallow you, just observe you for one day, from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, to determine how successful you will become or not become, <laughs> what do you think? What do you, what kind of response do you think they're gonna say to you? You know how you live in your life to determine whether or not you will be someone who will be successful versus no one who's someone who's always struggling for the rest of their life. I mean that's food for thought. I mean I have when it would. I, I've watched this video a couple of times before, but each time I heard Les Les Brown say that, I I just like, man, I need to get some work done on my, on my own life, you know, because if Les Brown will follow me for one day, I, I kind of know what, the, what he will say, you know, so these these are kind of things you have to do, success, leave clues, and as one of the quotes says that someone in the quote said that it said this, he says, success is not accidental, it is not accidental, you know, success is never accidental. That was Jack, Jack Dorsey who said that success is not an accidental. Success leave clues. And the clues that success leave is in your daily, daily, daily activities. In your daily activities. What kind of clues to success are you leaving based on your daily activities? You know, what are you doing on a daily basis that will leave clues to other people who will see, hey, look at the look at how disciplined he is in this area. He's reading every day. He's setting goals. He re he's reviewing his goals every day. He's working towards his goals on a daily basis. He's been disciplined. He's been focused or she been disciplined. She been focused. She been dedicated to her goals and her dreams. She's working or he's working on a, on a consistent basis towards his goals towards his dreams you know how i can see how disciplined this person is no doubt that this person will become successful can can someone say that of you can sit someone once said that of me, you know, to determine how successful I'm going to be. The things I do on a daily basis. Remember, success is not accidental. Success leave clues. What separates successful people from non-successful people is what they do on a daily basis basis how disciplined they are on a daily basis the things they do on a daily basis that will determine how successful a person will become now i'm i'm this is one of these videos i'm talking to myself this is as much as i'm talking to you anybody who's listening to me right now i'm talking to myself this is as much as i'm talking to you i need to hear this this is as much as you do too you know 
how disciplined are you on a daily basis when it comes to you working on yourself for personal development? How disciplined are you when it comes to you working towards your goals and your dreams? How disciplined are you? You know, I'm asking myself that question. Robert, how disciplined are you when it comes to you achieving your goals and your dreams and going after those things that which you want out of life? How disciplined are you? And so these are kind of food for thought. These are kind of questions we need to ask ourselves on a daily basis to review our daily activities to determine how successful we will become. Because, because what you do on a daily basis will determine just how successful you are. You know, because nothing, success is not accidental. It's, 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 it's you coming coming up with a plan of action you coming up with it with what you want to achieve on a daily basis and you working towards it your discipline habit your things that they do on a daily basis you know anything from the time you wake up in the morning what what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning you know <laughs> and you know one of the things that we we can do, and I'm talking to again talking to myself just as much as talk, talking to anybody listening to me, is to have plan out your day ahead of time. Plan out your day ahead of time. You know, a lot of times, and 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 I'm guilty of this as much as anybody. A lot of times, we just kind of go through our day, and just let whatever happen happen. You know, we just go through, just go through the day and as circumstances comes up and as things comes up we just kind of go with the flow however the day leads and we don't have really any 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 plan of action of hey i'm gonna do this at this time i'm gonna do this at this time i'm gonna do this at this time you know not unless it's constantly have work or something like that but most of the time we just go through the day and they just kind of let circumstances control your day instead of you controlling circumstances based on the, your plan of action based on what you plan ahead of time of what you're going to do when you're going to do it and how you know how long it's going to take um you know making each day count that's one of the best ways to do it so you know again going back to that 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 what I heard Les Brown say it on, on, on that video, on YouTube video. He said, if I shadow you for one day, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed at night, to determine just how successful you will become, what <laughs> what, what what would the answer be? How would I how would I do? What would I have to say to you at the end of the day that, um, concerning how successful you will become? You know, how when I observe how you spend your day, when I observe how you spend your day, am I going to be impressed and said, man, you're on the right track. You're doing everything right. Just keep doing what you're doing. Or am I going to be like, man, you need some work. You have some work to do. You need to be more focused, more disciplined, more more dedicated to your goals and your dreams. You need to have some discipline in your life. You know what? What would a man like Gless Brown say to you if he'll follow you, shallow you for a whole day? You know, <laughs> and, and I like to pick up on that challenge because I know, I know, in some areas of my life, I really do need to be more disciplined and more focused. While in other areas, I think I have, I have some disciplined habits, but I need to develop more disciplined habits in in other some areas, specific areas of my life. Anyways, we're talking about success, success tonight, the ABCs of success. What separate non-successful people from non-successful people? And what, what are your goals and your dreams? What are you working towards? How disciplined are you? How focused are you, in you, when, you when it comes to your goals and your dreams and what you want to accomplish in your life? How disciplined are you on a daily basis to go after that which you want? And how, did, and how much of how disciplined are you in discipline yourself to achieve in those things? Um, again, it's just food for thoughts. I can't answer these kind of questions for you. You can't answer it for me. I only have to answer it for myself. I have to search myself, search my life. Do some soul searching and say and come up with some 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 answers that will that will you know 
changed my life in the in the way that I wanted it to be changed. So I hope I said I'm gonna cut it off here tonight. But I hope I said something that will motivate you, inspire you, um, move you in some way, shape, or form. Because you know these are kind of things we need to take and seriously take need to take seriously. You know we can't take these things lightly, and far too people take these kind of things lightly, and they don't take them serious enough for them to make a change. You know I heard a story of um this this just came up in my pop in my mind. I wasn't planning on telling this story here, but uh, just to kind of um. To make a point here, and I'm, and I'll tell the story, but brief, like a uh, like a nutshell part version of the story. I heard, I listened to, um, listened to, uh, Anthony Robbins. He was telling this story. So this story is actually from Anthony Robbins. So he saw he was watching TV this with the psychology and TV. He was there to to um use some kind of new technique of psychology to to break people out of any kind of phobia that they, they may have. So he's watching this guy on TV and he, he had this guy came up, came up, came up to, um, cause he was a, have a fear of, of snake. So he wanted to cure the guy of, of, from the, the, and, um, so anyways, make a long story short, he didn't, he didn't, it didn't work. His technique didn't, didn't work on this guy. But at the, the at the end, the guy said, one of the reason why the reason why your technique didn't work on me is because I didn't really want to change. I I didn't really want to change. I didn't want to change from my fear of snake. I didn't want to get over that fear. And anyways, what um what the reason why I decided, I guess I guess I thought of bringing that, talking about that that story is that. The point that I want to make is a lot of people, one of the reason why they don't take these things seriously is because they don't want to change. They don't want to change their life for the better. They, they're content, they're comfortable, they're satisfied where they're at, and they don't really want to change. Just like this guy, this, this guy, he's on national TV, and this psychology is trying to use this new technique to break him out of the, the phobia of snake. But it this, the guy technique didn't work on him because the guy didn't really want to change. And that's, that's how some of us are in life. We just don't want to change, and that's why we don't take change in our lives seriously. We don't take it seriously as we should. But it's something we need to take seriously. We need to do things we need to do, discipline ourselves to change, change for the better, to make, don't to get out of our comfort zone, and to 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 pursue our goals and dreams and to change and develop you know we need to take it more seriously we need to have that desire to change and to grow and develop never remain the same anyways you know we can't remain, we can't remain the same we got to keep growing and if you're not going forward you're going backward and if you're not growing you're shrinking if you're not expanding you're kind of coming into yourself, so you you got to get, you got to grow in a way that you that will expand you, that will push you forward, not push you backwards, that increase you, not decrease you, you know, because that's what's happening. You're changing anyways. You're gonna change either way. It's either change deliberately, purposefully, intentionally, the way you want to change through your own personal growth and development, or you're gonna change automatically by just not doing anything and then you're just changing, shrinking, and <laughs> slowly dying on the inside. So either way you're gonna change, you might as well change the way you want to change. So <laughs> anyways, again, I, would, <laughs> I was gonna cut it off here, but thanks for joining me everybody. Thank you so much. I hope I said something that will motivate you, inspire you in some way, shape or form. Um, thank you, you know, Donna. Thank you, Raul. Thank you, Sh Shireen. Thank you, Ola, for for um for I hope I pronounced you guys' name right for joining me. I really appreciate it. Whether you're watching this watching this video on the live or you're watching the replay, 
thank you for taking the time for watching i really greatly appreciate it until next time we'll continue with the abcs of success and we'll talk about the letter t the krst so the letter t we'll come up with a word for the letter t and we'll talk about it on the next time also please don't forget to join me on tuesdays for our mission success online bible club we're going through the book the science of getting rich by wallace waddles so if you don't have a copy yet please get your copy of the book the science of getting rich on tuesdays we have this the, the online the mission success online book club we on tuesday we're going to talk we're going to read chapter five of the book we're on to chapter five so please join me again when you join me please leave your comments on the chapter if you have a copy of the book you can read it in advance if you don't have a copy of the book you can go to amazon and pick one up or you can go to your local library the particular book that i'm reading is actually a library book that i went to the library and borrow so if you want to do what i did just go to the library the library is an awesome awesome source of of material great books at the library videos audio books i mean take advantage of the library <laughs> it's free so why not <laughs> i'd go to the library all the time i take advantage of the library because there is it's a really good source of getting good material from books and cds and videos take advantage of that anyways <laughs> so join me on tuesday for our mission success online book club we will talk we'll continue through the book the science of getting rich by wallace waddles and we're on to chapter five please join me then anyways until next time this is robert holly this is the excel live show thank you for watching thank you for tuning in god bless you i love you peace